bang, skeet, skeet, two four-win teams without a defeat. Airbud showed up about 10 minutes late, took no practice swings because he doesn't need them. First swing of the night gives him the league lead in home runs and puts the Chihuahuas up two to nothing. Scotty flies forever. There's no third baseline drama this game. However, there is some first baseline drama as Nickname gets in Face's way after he singles up the middle. Nickname would have to spend the rest of the game sitting behind third base. Oh, did it hit the f I'm pretty sure it hit the fucking bat and then hit the fucking zone. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I like checked it really tight and then it went. Some confusion after a full count pitch to dipshit here in the third and after review, the ball hits the knob of the bat. Then it hits a strike zone, something that would only happen to dipshit. After the two run homer in the first, jet plane went on cruise control and shut the chihuahuas down. Unfortunately for the Americans, Mippy shut them down. Chihuahuas win, two to nothing. Friendly gesture from dipshit. Game two, second inning, two on, nobody out for ages facing Lulu on the mound. And Aegis hits a ground ball to right, fielded by Nudie Booty, chases Merce back to the base, and then pegs face at the plate. Just some elite fielding from Nudie Booty, keeping the game scoreless. Third inning, Mippy says, you can't peg me if I hit it over the fence. Chihuahua's up one to nothing in the third. And later on in the third inning face, we're getting deja vu all over again. Grounded nudie booty. Except this time he misses Air Bud. And the key here was the base coaching. If you take a look at ages, look at that point. Look at that wave. Look at that flow. Look at that headband. That's just perfection. The difference between a run and an out. Then Merce grounds one to left field for a little insurance run here in the fourth inning. Just over the bag. And that's all that the Chihuahuas would need because... Not to jinx him or anything, but Airbud hasn't given up a run all year. And according to my calculation, that gives him a zero ERA, which also gives him the league lead in ERA. So league leader in home runs and ERA. Not bad for the second place 2022 MVP.